After a space capsule touches down in the ocean, rescuers must work quickly to recover astronauts or cargo. Today's video is on five space capsule recoveries. Number five. Here's an example of a space capsule recovery gone wrong. In 1961, the Liberty Bell 7 capsule splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean carrying one astronaut. But the capsule had a mechanical failure and started to sink. Rescuers managed to save the astronaut just in time, but the capsule and its invaluable data sunk to the bottom of the ocean. It was finally recovered 38 years later in 1999, and now rests in a museum. Number 4. A Soyuz space capsule lands in Kazakhstan, carrying three Russian cosmonauts. Gained their equilibrium, and then were carried inside the inflatable medical tent where they're now being attended to for routine post-landing medical exams. Shortly after landing, the wind starts to pull the capsule away, but they manage to get a hold of it and all crew members were safely rescued. And uh, there's a sight we don't typically see, uh, the wind uh, carrying the parachute uh, and uh, tipping the Soyuz over onto its side, but you can see how quickly uh, the initial team of uh, search and recovery uh, personnel uh, were at uh, the scene to attend to the crew and uh, it's their rapid extraction from the descent module. That is the only section of the three-section Soyuz spacecraft that uh, is brought home. Uh, with the crew inside, Max Sarayev was seated in the center seat of the Soyuz. Uh, to his left uh, was Reed Wiseman. To his right, Alexander Gerst. Number three, Canadian astronaut Chris Hatfield is recovered from a capsule after a five-month-long mission in space. All crew members were in good health to the landing zone, including flight surgeons, uh, as well as uh, landing site personnel in charge. At this point, the Soyuz spacecraft was descending at a rate of just about 7.2 meters per second. And once there, you can see the soft landing rockets fire on just about two seconds before landing, uh, slowing into a final descent rate of just 0.8 meters while right above the ground. Now we're standing by uh, as uh, the Russian uh, recovery forces in concert with uh, personnel from uh, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency move in uh, to begin extracting the crew from the Soyuz craft, uh, landing almost on the dot there uh, just to the uh, southeast of Jezka's gone. Okay, let's get ready for the hatch opening. Hey, okay, I'm standing. Ready. Attention. Careful. Hello. Welcome back. Our first look at the returned crew. Armand Romanenko there in the center seat. Chris Hatfield to his left and Tom Marshburn to the right. The astronauts will be carried over to these seats where they can relax for a moment uh, as they're all extracted. Once inside that medical tent, the crew will get their initial uh, medical exam. Meanwhile, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted from the Soyuz craft. All three crew members now safely out. Number two, U.S. Navy divers recover a NASA Orion space capsule in the Pacific Ocean. The capsule was unmanned at the time, and this operation was part of an orbital test mission.
And finally, number one. Astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins touched down on Earth after their moon landing mission. The capsule actually landed upside down, but luckily it was corrected after deploying flotation bags. Divers then pull the three men onto their boats. today's video be sure to subscribe for more and check out my previous video on the top five amazing spacewalks